we end every On Purpose episode with a final five, which I'm going to ask to both okay. of you. Okay. Um, so you'll do one question at a time each. Okay. Uh, and these are one word to one sentence maximum. Great. Um, they are not questions like, what's your favorite color? Okay. I promise. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they're all thoughtful questions, okay. as you would expect. So <laughs> okay. So uh, question number one is, what is the best advice you've ever received or heard when it comes to mental health? I'm sure it's like in a Brene Brown book. <laughs> I'm uh, feeling like greatly. that's yeah, yeah. right on my wrist. Yeah. I think the the best advice that had been given is is probably what I have thoroughly said throughout my mm -hmm. documentary and speaking with you is is learning how to make it a part of your life. Mm -hmm. Like that's why I say make it your friend mm -hmm. because I think you have to understand why and sometimes you may not always know why mm -hmm. but if you can understand that it's a, a feeling like my mom said where maybe this will pass and and maybe you just got to go through it and you have to have the day in bed crying you have to do those things in order to figure out what it is that's going to set you free from it mm -hmm. um maybe that would be Great it advice. That's, make something. it a practice yeah um i think mine was uh take your time that was mm. what I was told when I went to. That's free. Yeah. Take your yeah. time. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. What's some of the second question? What's some of the worst advice you've ever heard or received when it comes to mental health? That it's all in my head and I can just control it. Mm. Like stop having bad thoughts. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was going to say yeah. somewhere along the lines of like, you're fine. I mean, yeah, I had someone say to me, literally, like, you're so dramatic, you make up everything, oh, you know, yeah. and that was so hurtful. The, the worst, I felt the worst. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, has that ever worked? <laughs> Good answers. All right, question number three. How would you both define your individually, your current purpose in life? I fully feel that I am exactly where I'm meant to be. I am meant to share my story. And in this season of my life, I want to be loved the way I love people. I want to give the way people have so generously given to me. And I want to continue to work on become a, a, becoming a better and a happier person every day. It's a beautiful purpose. I've received, so now I want to give. Powerful. Wow, mm. this is this is really beautiful answers. Uh, question number four. Uh, what's something you used to value that you don't value that much anymore? Oh, people's opinions. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> it's so exhausting. I, I would say it is nice to hear great things, but I, I, I accept mm. compliments in a, in, a, in a manner where I can appreciate them, but I, I have to learn how to just know that I got to keep a straight head. I got to like understand that everything is a gift and not to let things get to my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I always say, um, if you accept all the compliments in internally, mm -hmm. then you'll have to accept all the negative. Mm -hmm. So just be, be careful. Just yeah. like be selective with what yeah. you let in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a beautiful quote. Yeah. I can't remember who said it, but it says, uh, uh, don't let compliments get to your head and criticism get to your heart. Yeah, oh, I love and, that. Yeah, I love yeah, that. It's, that was uh, very poetic with what yeah, I was trying to say. It's been said for <laughs> thousands you. of years, yes, I'm Thank sure. you for, for just, just repeating it. No, no, but I think it's such <laughs> a beautiful... Great. Yeah, it is. And yeah, and, and I think that's also when we're mindful of giving compliments to others, I think something that I've learned is that I, I enjoy... And we've talked about this today. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy the art of learning to see someone's essence. It's something that I try and live by because, and then when you want to compliment someone, it's like, how do you give a compliment that isn't empty flattery mm -hmm. or that isn't mm -hmm. just surface level? And I think when we get compliments like that, they don't go to our head, they do go to our heart. Yeah, and, you know, and it just it, It's different. So I hope that we can also learn to compliment each other in more yeah you know beautiful and Absolutely. genuine ways fifth and final question question number five is if you could create one law that everyone in the world had to follow what would it be practicing forgiveness wow i i probably would would say something super simple and cheesy but treat others the way you want to be treated 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we throw in the forgiveness. Yeah. When, Honestly, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. Forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. I say we campaign. All right. Let's do yeah. it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> forgiveness campaign. Yeah, that's right. Wait, can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Yeah. Okay. When is the last time you did something for the first time? Ooh. Wow, where did know, that come right. from? Okay, when was the last time I did I've been practicing. The, first time? <laughs> the, the most interesting answer that came to mind straight away, even though it was a couple of months ago now, uh, I went trekking with gorillas in Rwanda. <gasps> wow. And it was... That is it was amazing. Re- it was, uh, yeah, it was a few months ago, and it was the most incredible experience of that my life. That sounds wild. Yeah, so they're mountain gorilla, and they're not... You don't, they don't have any technology on them or, you know, they're not treated a certain way. They're not in a zoo or they're not trapped. You're in their home and you have to set out early in the morning to go and look for them. And the people that are doing these tours, they know where they usually are. So they take you in that direction. Oh my and, God. So and then you finally discover like this family of gorillas. And I thought I'd see one or two. I was very, I wasn't skeptical, but I was kind of like, yeah. who knows, you know, right. could, yeah. We saw 18 gorillas, like a family. Just oh, like, did they cuddle could... you? So no, so you know, you know, I wish. That's all I, I want to yeah. see yeah. is yeah. J being cuddled they, by a gorilla. <laughs> they cuddle each other. Yeah. Uh, but they don't, They the guides tell us that the only thing you have to do is maintain your distance. Okay. You're not allowed to try and touch them or their kids because yeah. they see that as violent. Of course. But the gorillas are just so peaceful and they're so calm. And they have this sound that they make. This was my favorite part of the experience. So we were told by our guide that if you make this sound, it basically tells the gorillas, we come in peace. And so oh. this sound is, <clears throat> so you have to make that sound. And the gorillas make it back to you. No, oh, they, they so literally cute. Do that, or they'll do it to you as they come closer just to let you know, hey, we're not trying to harm you. We're just going to walk past you. That's I love so that. Cute. It was really special. So that was the most recent memory of something. Well, that's that, a hell of a one. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, my God, so, I'm yeah. all over forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, yes, I was hanging out. No, no, this was, was a ta- this that was, was a, beautiful. No, it was, yeah. yeah it, was, it was really, it was really, truly special. It was, uh, you know, it was just being with another creature Mm-hmm. that another form of life that is uninterested in you. Yeah. It's it's very humbling in a good way. Definitely. Yeah. Like, wow, this For form sure. of life doesn't even care that I exist. <laughs> we're like staring at it, we're like, taking pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and the gorilla's just like, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, yeah like, like, okay, yeah, That's a good question. Mm-hmm. Though, yeah. that's, that's a good question.